Hi, I'm Marilee, and if you're just joining me, I am doing a six-week blogging challenge where I post a video every week about uh, getting back into my passion project, and this is week one. So the holidays are over, and I felt like this was a good time to start getting back into my blog. With this being the first week, it's not much of a challenge yet. I still have a lot of excitement about getting going on my blog that I, uh, I think the only struggle I have is just trying to carve out time to do it. Uh, because like I had mentioned before, I life happens, so I wanted to make sure I have the, the time to do it and work around my schedule. While I've been waiting for submissions, I decided to go in and update my site. I do that through WordPress and I have to admit it is not easy. I may be a designer for my profession, but I find that it's, it's a different world. I created a new logo and a banner that I just put up on my site. I'm really excited about it. it uh, it's done in a chalkboard style where it kind of looks like it was back in school. So just to kind of get the feel of the, of the time period that we were all awkward in. The first time that I did my blog, I didn't really understand WordPress very well and the plugins that came with it. I was just doing all that I could to, to bring the posts up. I didn't look and see what type of plugins there are. So I want to dig into those. I'm still trying to figure that out. So I am basically finding out ways that I can optimize my site better. For any of you starting out, I thought I would give some tips. So for this week, I was talking about doing design and, and with logos or banners. So my advice to anyone who, who needs help in this area is to pick a theme that describes, like visually describes your, your site. So for example, with me, with the awkward years, I wanted to think of something, uh, a time period where you felt most awkward. And at least for most people, it was in school, it was for me. So I wanted to have a chalkboard image for my banner. And so I just took elements of chalkboards and, and used that for my banner. So if, if you're um, doing anything, let's say if um, your theme is more about photography, maybe it's, it's it, um, pictures that you've taken that you can put, maybe it's collaging everything and putting it in a banner, or maybe it's just one picture that you want to focus on that you're really proud of and having that for your banner. So uh, what's really helped me is I, I write a lot of affinity type notes like, okay, for me it's school, it's, it's chalkboards. And so I was really trying to list a bunch of uh, um, attributes that would go along with what I want my, my site to look like. So hopefully that can help you too. So as promised, I am highlighting an organization a week and I wanted to talk about WP and Up. This organization is for WordPress community members who tend to work from home and so they don't get the emotional support that they need through a work atmosphere. So this organization helps provide that support that they need. I'll share their link, go check them out and see how you can get involved. I'm going to go ahead and get back to work and I am looking for more submissions so please send them my way and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.